to 11 in three, two, one, Pills. And uh, Adelito almost had to drop out of this tournament uh, as he wasn't feeling uh, too great, but uh, he is toughing it out and playing, and we uh, appreciate him for coming in because otherwise it would have been me and Bidwell, and we've already seen how that ends. <laughs> um, Adelito straight off the gate um, with some of his uh, combos that he's really just known for. He just will... How I think of it is that he just kind of like piles pills. They all tend to work. Um, yeah. And he's just get everything on the board as fast as possible. Yeah. In his early games, he tends to play the top of the board very aggressively, uh, which you really only can do with, you know, smart control, smart board division, uh, because a mistake that high up will top you out and have to start you over. Uh, but he's at 22, but Savage uh, playing very aggressively right now. 22 viruses to go playing a fairly balanced board. Yes. Uh, just a second ago, I wasn't entirely too happy with the amount of blue on her board, um, but she's gotten rid of a lot of it and now um, has a lot of access to a lot of what she needs and can make those really good, smart combos um, that we know that she makes. And we see a bracket clear there. It is it does eat drop time, but it is efficient. It gets garbage off the board. It's a very, very blue heavy board for Savage Octagon. She's down to 11 as we hit 90 seconds here. Uh, it is uh, Adelito down to four, and now we'll be down to just a couple. Yeah, Adelito is really just looking for one red pill. Um, Savage is still working on just all of those blues. I, I, I feel you, Savage. I had that earlier where I looked at my board and said, why are there so many blues here? No, thank you, sir. Adelito uh, playing a bit of a struggle here, kind of having to juggle a piece of blue garbage uh, in column six. Uh, meanwhile, Savage is very, very close to an end game here, uh, just needing uh, one blue, one red, forcing the drop down. That is three quarters of a second, but uh, really the only play was available there. She's out at 210. And uh, I'd like this board from Savage is lower elevation and uh, room to maneuver could tuck a, a double blue or something down there and open up the center of the board. Mm hmm. Um, yeah, I like her diversity. Um, I Adelita was waiting for a very specific pill, and I'm not sure if he wasn't sure what he was looking for, um, but it did drop garbage on his board, whereas um, there's a couple of the things that would have. Um, cleared everything up for him, no problem, that he um, decided to pass on. Uh, but he's still just, you know, blazing through, uh, blazing through this nine, just incredibly fast. But so is Savage. Savage, incredibly smart with those horizontal plays. It's one of her strengths. She's down to 17, and with playing uh, just a flat line of viruses, uh, managing to find uh, some good horizontal clears to open things up smart. And I like that play. Tucking in and then rotating, uh, getting those double yellows off the bottom of the board. Uh, meanwhile, Adelito down to his final blue and getting, oops, all reds, and now ketchup and mustard. And now we're starting to see some blue, uh, but only just oh. another piece. As another blue-yellow surge comes in, this is the, this is sometimes how RNG gets you as uh, he's out at a 333. But this has opened up the door for Savage a little bit, Larva. Yeah, exactly. Now she just needs just a few blues. She can maybe do... If she gets a double blue here, she can take it in a fat T. Um, but, you know, we, Dr. Never wants to give us anything that we actually need. Um, no, so she's but, gonna uh, um, take them out individually. And of course she gets the double blue to close out the level when she could have closed out the level several pieces ago, out at about a 355. Uh, it is a, looks like a 17 virus advantage for Adelito. Adelito playing a very yellow heavy top line, a double blue would be super huge. He could get three viruses out in one go, uh, but he's gonna have he's steering his pieces around just because of some of these yellow spires, Larva. Exactly. Um, he really doesn't have much of a use for red, um, even less for blue. He's only got two blue viruses on the board. Period, um, and that's just kind of what the doctor wants to give him right now. He's got this drop T, very very nice. Savage with a triple in column number eight and uh, is playing a very uh, left side heavy board 
and uh, a lot of blue on that top line, almost a blue blockade at this point, as uh, yellow also a little bit of a challenge, but uh, Savage making this happen, and a, a nice drop play there to uh, set up some garbage, and a good tuck here setting up underneath. This is smart play by Savage. She's down to 16 mm -hmm. and has narrowed the gap. I actually like how she's playing from one side to the other so that she doesn't split her board. Um, and she has plenty of opportunities for any combos or things like that that come along. She's not isolating half of her board. Um, so now it's just all um, columns one and two. And Savage Octagon here is going to get an easy double. She's taking the lead. She's down to three viruses. And a double blue here is going to put her down to one. This is a huge lead change here for Savage going into 11. Adelito is a bit jumbled. He's going to have to get creative, looking to go for that uh, red horizontal. But it'll be Savage out first at a 545. But 548 just behind is Adelito here. It's a, a, str it's a uh, sprint here to 11. It is. Um... I'm I'm pretty okay with both boards as they start out. Um, I do think Savage has a little bit more. Um, she right now she's got just a lot of not blue. Um, <laughs> really, that's think, that's how my brain works. It's like ah no no blue. I um, say I think not blue is the scientific term. Exactly. Of course, <laughs> I'm a scientist. Uh, thirty-one to thirty all the time. Thirty-one to thirty-five here. Uh, a savage now below thirty. Uh, but it's blue heavy, even with garbage on that left or that right side of the board. Uh, Adelito now down to thirty-one. Savage needing blue help desperately. Uh, and is good. Looks like she's working towards getting it. Could have drilled down and cleared the double. Chose not to go for it. She is at twenty five. Adelito narrowing the gap though. Adelito with a bunched up bottom of the board though. That's really going to have to in require exact precision uh, and some very very friendly RNG. As Adelito gets an L yeah. L yeah. Um, shout outs to Stone Cold Steve Austin on that one. Um. <laughs> And if he takes those reds um, at the um, the bottom of row one, that basically half of his board is completely empty. Now, this I'm not sure because there is a lot still left on the board. So I don't know if I really like that potential move. Um, but again, you know, that's if he wants to do it that way, that is perfectly accurate. Fine, not a problem. There's a reason he's in uh, in this round, and I'm not. Well, uh, you say that, but you did make the top 16. But it is six to four. It is going to be a sprint here. Both very good looking boards from these players. It's going to come down to who gets the drop first, and it looks like maybe. Savage is going to set up a horizontal. She needs a yellow. Oh, and it's a burial in the corner. This is what Savage needs. She's going to get it at an 8-12. An unfortunate oh. drop of garbage on Adelito's side. Handcuffed him. He buried that blue virus in the lower left corner. Savage Octagon wins mm -hmm. by six seconds. What a first match. That was wonderful to watch. It really was. Oh, it's those last few plays, and Savage managed that endgame really well, despite just some horrendous RNG partway through 11. It is a six-second win for Savage Octagon, and uh, I know she is probably jumping up and down right now, uh, but she's got to, you got to take that deep breath. You get that big win against the big player. You got to get a deep breath. You got to do it again. Exactly. It's, it's a best of uh, three, so she's got to do one more. Um, but I do hope, um, as, as a member of girls club, um, I do hope that she can, uh, that she can take that momentum through, um, through the next game. And we would love to see Savage Octagon in a semifinal, uh, from my stats here as we're waiting on readies. Uh, Savage Octagon's last semifinal was uh, back in February of this year. So she'd love to get back to the promised land and, uh, get some points and uh, really cement her standings. Uh, a four pointer here would put her in twenty territory into those in that top four seed territory. So mm -hmm. uh, 
give me a minute shaking hands and i don't think it's with uh fellow people i think it's her own hands shaking uh from what was a nerve-wracking first game <laughs> exactly Fox asking who with <laughs> She's shaking hands with Mr. Octagon, obviously, in Flux. <laughs> we have a ready. And we have one from Adelito. <laughs> Three, two, one, and off we go, Pills. As we get into the second game between the top seeded Adelito and the eighth seeded Savage Octagon, Savage Octagon up one to nothing, looking to punch her ticket into the semifinals tomorrow here on the DRMC. Uh, as it stands, some uh, quick zero drop clears from Adelito and a uh, nice horizontal as well. Uh, really, really good board vision. And those the horizontal plays for new players can be scary, but essential to start chipping down your board. Yes, they are. Um, and even as someone who played Dr. Mario for years and years before finding the community, it was still something that I had to learn when I joined was, oh, there are better ways to play than I've been playing for all of these years. Um, so we do really encourage um, everybody who's new, if you want to try to learn, that's fine. We We will... We will gladly uh, take you in our community that plays uh, this one game that everyone likes to say, like, oh, that's like Tetris, right? And uh, speaking of uh, Tetris, uh, I guess, for lack of a better term, uh, Ad well, Adelito is a Tetris player, but uh, Savage was holding out for the double yellow for a long time. May have slowed her down. Uh, it's a very yellow-heavy board. She's down to her final six viruses, needing a lot of yellow help. Adelito needing a lot of red help here. And he's not getting it. Starting to get it now. Oh, and a uh, nice drop cross from Savage and these sandwiches in column three. And she's going to get it out first. But it looks like Adelito out at a 136. And we're just waiting on some yellows on Savage's side. She's not getting them. There's one. Where's the other going to pop up? Ooh, a little bit of time wasted on that clear. But out at a 144, she's right behind. It's 40 to 36 as these players start level nine. Exactly. Um, I actually like Savage's board um, a little bit better. I do think she has a little bit more opportunity. She, well, maybe not as much now that some of those yellows have been cleared, but she did start off with a lot of um, color diversity, whereas Adelio didn't really have a lot of access to blue starting out. Yeah, and that has handcuffed Savage a little bit, but she's about to get into 30 to go territory. It's a nine virus. Uh, advantage for Adelito. Adelito just has that big spire of garbage. He's just had to chunk down, uh, maybe setting up for a uh, drop cross here. Uh, Could have done it. He had the blue reds consecutively, but uh, choosing, choosing to go horizontal here as he is down to 14. Savage at 25. Savage is just having a tough time breaking open that right side. Yeah, she, she is getting hampered by just a lot of blues and um, just not really getting what she um what she's really looking for out of the board. Meanwhile, Adelito is playing a very smooth game, needing a lot of yellow help, but this double yellow coming huge, choosing to go uh horizontal on both those. I think that's the smart play. Keep that yellow exposed on that right side. He's free and clear. He'll just need one more and an absolutely blazing effort here through 9. For Adelito really blowing this game up. He is out at 320, 16 viruses ahead of Savage Octagon. Yeah, he's been um this game, he has been really, really just trying to go as fast as possible. Not that he doesn't normally, but um it definitely seems like a, a very um packy-esque situation where you take one off of him. And, th and then he gets mad, and you wouldn't like him when he's mad. Yeah, you, these players just kind of turn it on if they've realized they've lost. Uh, you, you know, Packy, Packy's so well known for it, and we've seen Swong and uh, some other top-level players, just when they take that loss, they they roar back. And uh, that's what we're seeing here out of Adelito as Savage looking to get out of nine, and she will at a 409. 
Uh, shout out to Kitchen Cleaners under your sink. Uh, it is a 20, about a half a level advantage looking here uh, for Adelito. Um, yes. Um, I do like Savage's board. I do think that it, it allows for a lot of combo opportunities. And I know that that's something that she looks for. Um, she has said that um, during our weekly checkup, um, which both she and I uh, participate in quite a lot. Um, now, Adelito's really just needs a lot of blue. Um, just all over the place. Um, and I'm not entirely sure. Okay, there we go. I don't always see everything that that Adelito sees. So um I know sometimes for me it's a little Adelito is notorious for just having but... different sequences. Uh and it's really hard to exactly. see. And that that's just in general as yeah. uh, Adelito added about a 515. This is a very very compressed board on Adelito's side uh Larva. Yes, and we got a fat log. He is setting up for um another one. Um, oh, he's gonna here get comes. It. Bam. Bam. And just look how he just transitions into a nice, clean setup uh, for the next sequence of viruses. It's just fantastic board vision on Adelito's side. And Adelito has that Tetris pedigree uh, where, you know, he's just board vision's a little, not, not nearly as much as required as just aggressive gameplay. Uh, but we're seeing Adelito, you know, really transition from that, that hard Tetris play to uh, you know, really precise Dr. Mario play uh, as Savage was out right around the 555 mark, uh, 47 to go here on 11. But again, she's half a level down and uh, really is going to need super favorable RNG to catch up. Exactly. She's going to need super favorable or RNG or for Sicilito to actually appear instead of just. Whatever it happened with the match against Bidwell where he just turned into a superhero. <laughs> uh, we're going to see a nice draw, uh, sweet tea into a double from Adelito. That's the kind of just board vision we're talking about. Uh, he's got some of the best in the game as he's down to seven viruses and is essentially going to force this decider. Exactly. And, and he's going to set up for the... Um... Okay, and then he's going to do a, a drop uh, horizontal, and then he's going to be out at seven minutes. Blue. Seven flat. That was just a nice sequence there with the double blue. Just made everything that he was uh, showing there uh, perfect. Uh, he will uh, uh, not advance. He will force a game number two or game number three as uh, Savage Octagon runs this one out. And Savage Octagon running a good time of her own here. Uh, but not going to be enough as it is likely uh, sub eight here from Savage Octagon barring RNG. She has said, forget about it. I want to go to game three. Exactly. Um, and that's perfectly fine. Um, we do. I know some of our viewers wonder about, you know, if topping out is the strat or if playing it through is the strat, it's really just however the player feels at that at that given moment. Absolutely. As we wait here, uh, we've got a ready uh, from Adelito. And a ready from Savage Octagon. As we have another decider here in round two. We love seeing him. Bonus Dr. Mario for everybody. As we have the countdown, three, two, one, and pills as these players kick off our third game in this best of three. The top seeded Adelito versus the eighth seeded Savage Octagon. And uh, my name's JB Henry. I'm joined by Larva in the booth. And Larva, a really tough start here for Adelito. Didn't have a lot of red to access. Yeah, I I actually physically cringed when I saw his board. Um, <laughs> I, did I didn't like it at all. Um, but he's he's doing his thing where he just makes RNG work for him, no matter how bad it is. Um, and that's something yeah. that I actually really admire from Adelito as a player is 
he does not let bad RNG like slow him down or stop him. No, and you know, even if it's just setting up the next two pieces or three pieces for a combo, Adelito just so good at that. Savage down to 16 here, holding her own. Uh, now starting to attack that uh, right side of the board. And a couple of fortuitous plays here, uh, really opening things up. She is down to a dozen, Adelito down to a dozen. Board health, really, here, it's, it's you know, pick your poison. Uh, both players uh, have their uh, strengths and their disadvantages right now. Uh, the glaring one being Savage Octagon's blue garbage, but that double blue knocking it off the board larva. And these players still tied here as we approach 90 seconds. Exactly. Um, and now Savage is playing with a very clean board. Um, she's going to combo those, um, that trash and that blue, and then get that drop for that red. Um, so I really like her vision on that, um, knowing what she was able to do and just this one red and she's going to be out at a 145. Yeah. With three viruses to go and Adelito really just locked oh, into blue oh. and he does combo out a lovely combo. Uh, but he is behind here, uh, by about three viruses as these players go. I'm looking at these boards. Savage is going to have a lot more, uh, fun. I think towards the end of the game. Uh, meanwhile, Adelito really stacked hard on that left side. Uh, that could make clearing things out difficult. Yeah, um, and especially if he wants to play um, with combos later on, um, it might be harder if um, if his board ends up splitting. Um, that just makes it um, harder for really anybody um, to get combos off. You can't, you know, or you have to do some real real like dimwit level thinking which i can't ever do dr mario witch doctory i think uh we've got 16 to go for savage and look at this sweet tea that's going to combo down into another clear getting four viruses off the board those are the kinds of efficient plays we love seeing uh it is 11 to 15 as savage now really just needing to address some of that right side a good drill down as uh, she is going to set up, uh, I think, just an opportunity to get rid of that blue garbage horizontally, kind of reset uh, the other blue in uh, column six. She's down to eight. Adelito down to eight. Uh, Adelito playing that cluster, though. And as I said, that was oh, going to make no. things difficult. And uh, no blue and, and uh, to help. And was uh, trying to do a bracket clear, um, didn't quite get the second half off. So she had to take drop time from the top of the bottle. Um, that wasn't going to help anything. So I, I know there are probably some like, choice words um, that we would not be able to broadcast on stream. Uh, both <laughs> out at basically the same time. So yeah, that's a about good a recovery a, from Savage. About a second apart. So a, a good end game there and a, a nice play by Savage, keeping that top line nice and clean. Again, kind of what we saw on Adelito's uh, uh, eight larva was no red help. Yeah, um, I I do like um, Adelito's board a little bit better. He does have um, he does have that diversity, and I know that um, looking at Savage's board, there's not a lot that she could do with yellow right now. It's just um, something she doesn't need. And I know, you know, like we always say, you know, Doctor C is oh, you don't need this color. Let me give it to you. Exactly. Uh, the amount of double reds I've had with blues left on the board is infuriating. Uh, 26 to 15 here. Savage has been slowed down uh, just by that tough board configuration to start. Uh, she's going to need to bounce back here, and she's very, very good at doing that as uh, we are four minutes, 45 seconds in. And that's how Savage does it. Clears out that most of that garbage, sets up for a, a little bit of drop time. Uh, nothing too terrible, though, as you set up those reds vertically. As we hit five minutes, though, it is Adelito firmly in the lead. Mm -hmm. Savage did what um, Swong likes to call uh, turning trash into treasure. Um, she took garbage she didn't need um, vertically, dropped it uh, with horizontal clears, and was able to use it um, later on um, for just exactly what she needed. And now the problem is, is it is a red exclusive top line on Savage Octagon's board as uh, Adelito first into 11 here uh, as we hit five and a half minutes. Uh, it's just 
a cadre of red on the board, needing some uh, red help, not getting it, uh, playing this uh, horizontally. That's the right play. Dropping down, getting the combo. Great board vision by Savage Octagon as uh, she's got a decision to make on what to play, on what to double here. And I think this is the right call. Yeah. And now looking at Adelito's board, he he needs to open up um, a bunch of reds um, in order to really do what he wants to do. Um, but again, knowing Adelito, he's going to be able to um, to do that and and probably just leave me speechless in the process. As he clears out a large swath of columns, uh, six and seven. Down to 17 viruses he goes. 16 to go now for Adelito as he is trying to set up something uh, horizontally. Uh, Going to get that double bl uh, red over in column number seven. Now setting up for maybe another double blue. And here comes the double yellow. No, I think he's waiting on a red yellow. Uh, not quite he's getting gonna it. He's going to want to uh, do a lightning bolt there. Knowing Adelito, he's going to want to do a lightning bolt there. And he's going to get fancy. And there it is. A big clear. Now he's got everything open. He just blew that board open. Just needing a red out at 701. And with that, Adelito just fends off Savage Octagon and advances to the semifinals where he will face the winner of uh, our next match, which is Ibar versus Swong. And then following that, uh, I believe it is Watchma versus Packy uh, for uh, that final round two spot and we'll be back again uh in just a few minutes 